All right, this is first grade module four, lesson six. And in this lesson, we introduce to our students yet another representation for two digit numbers. This time, kind of the classic of dimes and pennies to, of course, represent the tens place and the ones place. So now what have, what have we got so far? Well, we've got in no particular order, we've got the place value chart. We've got number bonds. We've got the quick tens and the quick ones. And we've got the kind of like the say 10 method, two tens and six ones. So we've got all these different representations. We're adding to it pennies and dimes. And the idea is historically we've just gone too quickly into like algorithms and trying to teach our kids like the standard method real really quickly. And really, we are leaving our, some of our students in the dust. We, they, they weren't developing the schema that they needed. And so the idea of these lessons is to give a, students a lot of different representations. And the idea is not to confuse students with all these representations. Instead, the real purpose is to give students something that they can actually hold on to. So let's get started. Really nothing particularly revolutionary. If we want to represent the number 45, we're gonna, we know that we're going to represent that with four dimes. And of course, my dimes are all kind of messed up. So there's four dimes and then five pennies. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So there's there's our four dimes and five pennies, and that's the idea. Uh, nothing particularly fancy. We, I think teachers have been using pennies and dimes for decades to represent uh, place value. So this is finally, hopefully, going to feel familiar to parents and teachers. So we're going to just connect those pennies and dimes to the, the place value chart that we've been doing. So a quick recap. What do we have here? Well, we have three sets of 10. So we're gonna label that three sets of 10. Now, how many sets of ones do we have? And the answer is none. We have no ones. So 30 is equal to three tens. Now that's kind of a connection to our previous lessons. So now this is uh, looking at our current lesson where we're using dimes and pennies to represent what's going on. And we want our students to recognize dimes and tens, kind of synonymous. Pennies and ones, kind of synonymous. So what do we have here? Well, we have two dimes and we have two pennies. So we have 22. And 22 is two tens and two ones, and you can see it right here. Here's our two tens, here's our two ones. Just more of the same, only now they also want us to draw or cross off ways to represent ten more, or one less, or one more, or ten less. So let's take a look at question 11. What we've got right here, and it says 10 more than 22. So we see that we've got 22 right now, 10 more means I'm going to add in a 10. So what do I have? I'm going to end up with 30 and 2. So I'm going to end up with 32. Right here, again, we've got 22. And if I want to do one more than 22, I'm going to draw a 1 right here. And so what do I end up with? Well, I end up with two 10s. And now I have three ones, so we end up with 23. And I think you get the idea, so let's just take a, a quick gander at this one. So this says one less than 39. So here's my 30 and 9. Parents and teachers, by the way, notice it's a 10 frame, right? You've got your 5 and then 4. So there's your 39 and one less than 39, that means we're going to cross off one of these pennies, and so we end up with 38. Now, how do I know? Well, because I have three tens, and I see that I have eight ones, so 38. And if, again, if I want to do 10 less than 39, 
I still have my 39 because that's how they're doing it. They're mirroring it. Now 10 less means I'm going to cross off one of my 10s. And so what am I left with? I'm left with two 10s. And I still have my nine ones. So that means I'm, I end up with 29. So parents and teachers, you should be seeing that we're just guiding our students to become flexible in moving up and down in the tens place or moving up and down in the ones place. And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson six, a classic using dimes and pennies to represent tens and ones.